Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our fourth and last video for our surveys and red cap series. In this video, I'll be going over some of the automated features for sending out surveys. And this really applies for when you have more than one survey in your project and you want your survey to either auto continue to the next survey or you want the second survey to be sent out at a certain time period in the future based on when the first survey was sent out. So to demonstrate some of this functionality, the first thing that I wanna do is actually enable the second form in our project, that demographics form that we added from the Red Captured Library in the first video as a survey. So to do that, I'll go to the online designer, navigate to our second form that we wanna enable as a survey and click enable. And I can go ahead and click save changes right here. And now we have two surveys in our project. So if you remember from an earlier video, I mentioned that we could have a survey auto continue to the next survey in the survey setup page. And this is actually one I what I wanna demonstrate first. So to set this up, I'm gonna go back to the settings for Nacho Craving Index and click survey settings. And I wanna add this to the first survey that I want folks to fill out. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to the survey termination options right here. So we have survey termination options. I can click auto continue to the next survey. So once I do this, it will automatically auto continue to that demographics form. In addition, I can add some logic um, based on the answers that are submitted for this first survey. So within the Nacho Craving Survey Index, um, there is a, the first question is, have you ever eaten nachos? So say I only want folks to, who have ever eaten nachos to see the second survey. I can use the variable for that first question, which I know is nachos equals yes. And the raw value for yes is one in this instance. And I can see I have a valid syntax right here. And then I can add onto this if I wanted to. I can add a second variable. So the third question in the nacho craving index is when was the last time you've eaten nachos? Um, and the variable for that question is last. And I know that the second response, um, so number two, so the raw value two um, is earlier today. So I can do two. And basically what this means is that the folks that have responded with, yes, they've, they've had nachos before and they've actually had nachos earlier today, um, that's gonna be our logic. And that's the, you know, we can say that that's gonna be the cohort that sees that second demographics form. All right, so it's valid. I can go ahead and click update and close editor. And I can go ahead and click save. And we can go ahead and test this out. Something that I wanna point out is that we now have this down arrow, which means auto continue is turned on for this first survey. So I can navigate to the survey distribution tools and click that and I can open the public URL. And I can click yes. And then to demonstrate that our logic is working, I can just choose this first one. I am currently eating nachos, um, which was not part of our logic. And if I hit submit, it takes me to the ending message for that survey. So our logic wasn't met and it's just gonna save that response. Um, so I can go back to this and I can click yes. And if I choose, I eat nachos earlier today, which was the, um, the option for that was included in our logic and hit submit, we're now taken to that demographics form. So we know our logic is working. So that is the one, the first thing that I wanna show you. The second one is actually the automated invitations. So I'm gonna head and close this. I'm gonna return to the online designer and I'm actually gonna just turn off auto continue just so it doesn't interfere the next thing that I want to show you. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and hit save. OK, so now I want to show you automated, automated invitations. And I'm going to do this for the second, um, the second survey in my project. Um, so we add the automated invitations for our sort of follow-up um, survey. So in this instance, 
folks are going to complete this. And then I'm going to set up automated invitations for the demographics form where I can set it to send outs at some time point in the future. So if I go ahead, do that again, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to click automated invitations under the survey related options. Okay. And the first thing that I want to do is actually activate automated invitations. And I want to point out it's the R2 for this email message is all participants who meet the conditions defined. Um, so earlier I showed you how to use that participants list. So we're adding emails to that. Um, so that this two, this, these participants, it's a reference to um, whoever filled out the survey based on that email list. If they meet this conditional, um, then this will automatically go to them at some time point in the future. All right, so you can um, compose your email message. So this should look vaguely familiar. This was what was in our, um, when we added participants and added that message. Um, so you can add a subject, you know, something descriptive. And then we have that body of um, the email message body right here. Um, I do wanna mention that you definitely wanna keep um, survey-link in square brackets as well as survey-url. That is where REDCap is going to pipe in the unique URL for our participants. Um, and you can change the, the body of the message, of course. Um, so that is our first step is composing that email message. And the second one is actually setting that conditional. So we can say when the following survey is complete. So when folks fill out the Nacho Craving Survey Index, and we can add a second portion of that. Um, so we can do and or or, which and means both need to be completed or or, um, it means either or. So if I click and, when some logic becomes true, so I can also add logic here. So this should look a little bit familiar and I can add the same logic as before. I can say nachos equals one and last equals two. Right, see our syntax is valid and I can click update and close editor. And our third step is to stipulate when this invitation is going to be sent out after the conditional is met. So I can certainly send it immediately or I can send it in some time in the future. So say if I wanted this to go out 30 days after they completed the Nacho Craving Index, I can say send invitation 30 days from now. You do have an option to send a reminder and I can go ahead and save this. Um, and this will, after folks fill out that Nacho Craving Index, if they meet this conditional or have otherwise filled out the, the, the Nacho Craving Survey, um, it will go out to them um, at the time point that we stipulated. So I can go ahead and click Save. We can see that it, our settings have been saved. Um, something that I want to mention is to make sure to test out all of this functionality. Um, you know, that's the biggest thing that we need to just make sure that all of this works. Um, so whether you're using the survey setup page or the automated invitations, um, test, test, test the functionality with your team and colleagues. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the data services team. That is all for our surveys in RedCap series. Make sure to check out all of our other RedCap videos.